Oh, hi everybody! Welcome back to World of Final Fantasy. I just beat up a mega red dragon, and I just got all the rewards of killing it. But anyways, uh, aside from seeing all this beautiful loot that I got, we got a cutscene, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> Yay for miracles! Now is our chance to run the past them. Yeah, good. I. It's behind the me, isn't it? Final heaven! Whoa, it finally worked! Oh, I can celebrate later. Come on, this way! Hurry! The two of them have started something. Mediums have been awakening one after the next. Then you mean the Azure Prophecy is coming true. So what? No matter how many champions arise, the laws of this world are beyond their power to change. The only force that can change those laws is the almighty power of a true king. We must fulfill the Crimson Prophecy. And swiftly. Are we agreed? Yes. Thanks again! You really saved our biscuits the back there! Who knew they came in sets? I'm just glad you're alright. Huge dragons live in the scars. You're lucky you only ran into the two. Normally people don't set foot near the place, but I heard all the ruckus and knew something must be up. It's a good thing you did. Gotta say, though, you pack quite a punch. Oh, well, I might have gotten lucky. Huh? That's actually one of my master's moves. That was the first time I ever managed to pull it off. Oh, I live to the north of here, in a town called Nibelheim. Come on by, if you get a chance. <laughs> All right, I know which champion medal I'm equipping next. Anyways, man, so we're going to Nibelheim. We're going to Final Fantasy VII Town. Uh, does that mean the Dragon Scars are at Nibelheim Mountains? That was a place in Final Fantasy VII. Also, that would explain the dragons, except they weren't red, they were green. Uh, but there was the red dragon in the ancient temple. But anyways, you know what? Final Fantasy VII. I seven. guess she's a champion, too. I'll say. She sure punches like one. Makes you wonder what her master must be the like. Master Zankin? Oh, he was pretty badass, you know. Uh, we only got hints she of him in Final Fantasy VII. was north of here, didn't she? Yeah. Wait, I think I can actually see it from here. Oh, so something about that place makes my fur the crawl. I don't know what it is, but it gives me the heebie the jeebies. Oh yeah, it's that, it's that town to the right. This place, right? What? Agathar. That sounds familiar. Why can't I recall? Well, this is a charming little town. But something feels kind of... I don't know, off about it. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Hmm. I think it might be a good idea for us to keep a low profile around here. Why's that? Because... Oh, just do it! Uh, okay. Low profile, Tama. Okay, Roger the wheel, Co. Oh, well, I guess this place is Agathir, not Nibelheim. Once you join, you just put on a good show, raise your civic. Well, let me talk Why to this guy Yahoo's again. Who's in Nibelheim still refusing to join the Federation? Once you join, you just put on a good show, raise your civic rank, and you're set for life. Well, I mean, I was always told if it's too good to be yeah, true, it must be. Recently, it's nice here, but something about it just doesn't sit well with me. 
See what I mean? People are on edge. Something's off. My husband's been acting really strange lately. He's always so distracted, and he never seems to hear anything I say to him. Oh, that sounds familiar. Soon, I'll be as fine a Bahamutian soldier as any. Just a little longer. You sound like a soldier candidate from Final Fantasy VII. Hey, hey, did you know about the nimble mirages living in the desert? They're really fast. I'd really like to run a race against them one of these days, but... Well, they're mirages, right? I don't want to start a race with them only to have them attack me, so I was hoping you could check out how strong they are for me first. Oh, they're called cactuars. If you can defeat a handful of them for me, then I'll be able to tell how strong they are. Oh, those guys are pretty rare, but we'll get to that soon enough, everybody. Don't you worry. Uh, it's it's going to be in the distant future, though. Are you working towards becoming an architect, too? <laughs> Nah, man. Fuck being an architect. <laughs> Federation is... anyone who doesn't live in a Federation town manage to get by? Because the Federation is all bullshit, man. Straight the bullshit. The true happiness lies with the Crimson Prophecy. Man, I ain't gonna... No. <laughs> Just say no, kids. This is a sacred place. None may enter without authorization. Man, fuck you. I'll desecrate the shit out of that place. It's all lies, anyways. Pray together for the day the crimson prophecy is fulfilled. Man, all these yes, guys what? are preachy. My dad's an architect. Isn't that just the coolest? Now nah, that sounds pretty lame. I wish I could be friends with a kid from the next town over, but my mom says I can't because their town hasn't joined up with the Federation. That's bullshit, my mom kid. Said I should never talk to people from places that aren't part of the Federation. Then why are you talking to me, kid? Oh, uh, I should probably grab this chest. Uh, alright. We're in the illusion. Get a girl's diary, number four. I uh, probably should read that, right? Okay, everybody. Now for the time that you've been waiting for. Number four. We missed number three, though. Uh, talk about mom, work. Yeah, there you go. Alright, everybody got that? Everyone get it? Their mom is working too hard, whoever this girl is. I bet you can already guess who it is. And if you can't, well, I can't help you. But anyways, other than that, I mean, there's really not a whole lot else to talk about. This is Agathir. It's kind of lame, kind of boring. Everyone's like, oh, something's wrong about this town. Something's not right. Also, I should probably go to Ninewood Hills because, uh, as I said... I'm gonna get Tifa's champion medallion thing, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get that cuz uh, I need the metal man I need it also. Let's do the shortcut to the tea the tea room the girls tea room You know the the girl with no name or she doesn't remember or whatever. I don't really care what now? I need to get it. I need to get it now. I got the it's armor champion. gems for it Here go baby. Yeah Tifa's metal Unfortunately, I still can't do any of the intervention quests. I don't have enough Arma Gems for it. You know, I only have one, and as I know, they're all two. It's bullshit, man. I'm sorry, everybody. I would love to do a grudge that won't budge or anything of the other like, but I can't. And we got a lot of intervention quests, so in the future, guess what's going to happen? Otherwise, Sephiroth... Sora? Uh, I'm going with Sephiroth. Sephiroth obsolete. You know, I could still probably use Sora, you know. Sora probably still has a little bit of use. Sephiroth being from Final Fantasy VII, I feel like we have our quota on the seven on the seven going on, so let's uh let's just replace Sephiroth, you know? He's no longer useful. I love him, but at the same time, you gotta you get out of here. Anyways, we're just gonna continue onward. There's really not a whole lot to talk about other than that, so I'm gonna just go straight to. I don't want to go to the Dragon Scars. Let's go to Agathir, cause you know that that's that's pretty close to where we're trying to get to. That's pretty. We were just there, you know. So we just we just going there. We're just going. We're getting out to Nibelheim, cause I mean, really, what else are we gonna do, right? That's, that's kind of the only direction we've had. I mean, sure, I could go back to the Dragon Scars, but that's kind of pointless. No one really wants to go there, you know. I was just there. It's all Are you guys bleak seeing and desolate. This town? Yeah, that's where Tifa lives. 
It makes Ninewood Hills look the humble. If you get confused during battle, you'll lose control of yourself and start lashing out at random. You might even attack your friends. You can bring a confused fighter to his senses by hitting him, but smelling salts get the job done in a much safer way. Here, I've got some I can give you. Is that right? So if I get confused, I can just use some smelling salts and then I'll come to my senses? Also, what is up with that giant pillar root thing with the, the glowy things on top? It looks like a sector. Reminds me of Final Chapter Fantasy 11. 7. Crimson and Azure. Crimson and Azure? Hang on a sec. Hmm. I don't see any chain on the place. Well, maybe they're like Cornelia, and they haven't been annexed by the Federation. Good point. Sorry, huh? Corn. What? It can't oh, be. Nice. Great memory hmm? there. Hey there, guys. It is you, right? Hey, super punchy girl. Hi. How are you doing, Tifa? It's so good to see you! Same here. Hey, I have to ask, what are two keepers and a mirage doing way down here in Babel? Oh yeah, I guess we never told you, did we? Oh good! I was starting to worry. What if I accidentally saved a couple of bad apples from the Bahamut army? It's weird. Why does everybody keep thinking that we're Bahamutian soldiers? I don't know. I guess they don't see many Mirage Keepers anymore, unless they're working for the bad guys. Yeah. And not just Keepers. Giants, too. These days, they all seem to be fighting for Bahamut. I guess it makes sense in a way. They say the Federation conquered their homeland long ago. Dude. Still, the prophecy's a hot topic around Nibelheim. Everyone in town has heard of the giants from the hills. Uh, I'm not sure I like being a celebrity. <laughs> anyway, so you're looking for the Valley of Fire? Unfortunately, that's the only real clue that we've got. The Valley of Fire. Everyone knows that bit, but no one's sure which valley is the right one. What do you mean? If you're looking for fiery valleys, this region is full of them. But that's just it. Any one of those valleys could be the one the prophecy is talking about. Oh, right. I forgot there's a summoner in town doing research on the valley. She might know. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm in Nibelheim. I'm going to go talk to her. Let me introduce the giants from the hills. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Hello there. I am the summoner Rydia. Hmm? Something here is not right. Something about you. Hey, you know, the way that Mirage follows you, you totally remind me of Yuna. I guess it's because you're both summoners. Huh? You mean you know Lady Yuna? Yeah, we met her, back on the Upper Continent. She was really a lot of help to us. We might not even be there here if Yuna hadn't pointed us in the right direction. Oh. Well then... I suppose you can't be all that bad. There now. You hear that? These two say they're friends of Lady Yuna. That means you can trust them. For the time being, at least. So let me get this straight. You're searching for the four keys recorded in the prophecy? Yeah. We came to Babel because we heard one of the keys was hidden here, in a valley of fire. Right. But, you know, the keys are part of the Crimson Prophecy. Crimson Prophecy? So wait, you mean there's more than one version? Yes. There used to be a single prophecy, the Azure Prophecy. It only spoke of four sigils and said nothing about keys. It was much more abstract. The Azure Prophecy is heresy! Uh, this is no business of yours! Lies! Only the Crimson Prophecy is gospel! <sighs> 
Are you a summoner or not? You should pray that fate guides you to the Crystal Tower. The Crimson Prophecy is clear. Flanked by mirages, the Chosen Ones shall acquire four keys. From the Crystal Tower, they shall mount the heavens, where God will grant them the gift of eternity. So long as you know to look for the signs, the keys shall be found. So do as the Crimson Prophecy commands of you. Hmm? Ugh. All you hear these days is that nonsense. Yeah, no kidding. At least they're not breaking any laws or getting violent, but it's still creepy. What do those fools know anyway? The Azure Prophecy was written by the first summoner. It's the Crimson Prophecy that came later. The whole thing is nothing but a sham. Still, that sham seems to be the prophecy folks believe in. Unfortunately so. That's why I came here to sort the truth out myself. Tell me then, why are you searching for the keys like the prophecy says? You see... So you're telling me that your mother shares the same name as Lady Lucifarna? And you're looking for the Herald's Castle to find her. I get it. If you really are the giants from the hills, all you have to do is follow the prophecy, and you might wind up there anyway. Right. There's actually more to it. Someone told us we would find our family as long as we kept collecting mirages and pressing onward. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, it seems the only way to prove which prophecy is true is to accompany the two of you to the Valley of Fire. In a way, you'd be accompanying me and doing me a favor. What do you mean? Oh, never you mind. So, are we ready? Uh, are we ready? We don't even know which valley to go to. I've already figured it out. The Valleys of Babel are numbered, and I believe the one we are looking for is Valley 7. Just like Final Fantasy 7, All which right, is... Alright, placey place, here we come. Now you're forgetting entire names? Man, just like Final Fantasy 7, which is what the tower it is from Nibelheim. Anyways, uh, next time, we'll be doing some Nibelheim exploring, going to the Valiant stuff. Alright, later.